Hello, thanks for the uh, practitioner here. Thanks for that comedy bit on the broom levitation explanation. I'm gonna steal that trick from you. Um, thankfully, I didn't have to pay ninety nine ninety five for a kit for a DVD. <laughs> I didn't have to pay ninety nine ninety five for a stool. And, um, also, I just wanted to say, um, I know you guys uh, keep talking about um, don't use um, d uh, the, a, a drumstick to the head. Um, is a good way for crowd control. Personally, I've always preferred a can of pepper spray myself, like a can of mace to spray in the eyes of the contestants. It also means as well that they go blind, which means that I can tell them I've done practically anything and they have to believe in the... Oh, crap. Is my voice too loud? Okay. Good. It's a joke. I'm just joking. Anyway, um... I'm going to show you a trick which I haven't done since I was 15. It was one of my own creation called armpit music. And you'll see why. Uh, and it, it connects to drumsticks and you'll see why. I'd like you to observe that there is nothing up my sleeves. Again, you can see nothing up my sleeves. You can see my armpits. Here I'm going to go to great lengths here to get my armpit into the camera. See? Do you want to stick your hand up there to verify? When I did this live, I called a volunteer up from the audience and I asked them to stick their hands up my short sleeves and actually feel my armpits. Of course, considering that I hadn't taken a shower in two days, this was a very good deterrent. People said they'd take my word for it. So, I'd like you now to observe, again, remember, nothing up my sleeves, and I'm wearing short sleeves, so there's nothing in my hands. So now, if I can remember how to do this right, I gotta stretch. Ah! Ah! Wait, ow! can't get my hand into my armpits. Oh, ooh, crud, I pulled a muscle. Ah. Hang on. Armpit music. Arm. Ah. Now, remember, armpit music, armpit music, armpit music. And what do you know, I got two drumsticks. Now, isn't that a real beater? <laughs> okay. Now, the thing, of course, is, though, is that um, I use chopsticks, of course, in this particular case, and I just realized now that I've stuck them past my armpits, they're now officially unusable for eating. But um, I think you get the gist of it. What you do, of course, is you wear a short sleeve shirt, you hide two drumsticks in either one of the sides of your, of your shirt, and you keep them under your armpits, and as you do it, as long as you don't pull any muscles or are a tad more flexible than I am, what you do is you reach one arm up here, then, uh, then as you start pulling it out, you put the, uh, you keep, of course, that arm there, and of course you do one arm up here, and what you do is you start doing this like armpit music, and then you just pull both out. Then you make some sort of pun about music and go dum 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 because that's always the funniest way to end off the trick. Now this is really great for street magic. It works a lot better on stage, particularly if you've had, uh, it works particularly well for, well, I designed it specifically for a talent show I was in. Um, you know, where there was a lot of bands playing and stuff like that. This works really well in band venues, and it's often really, really good for a joke. Um, actually, one of the things that you can always do to piss off uh, the competitor's band, if you can get a band to hire you, is a this is a great opener for um, what you do is if you use this armpit music trick, um, you know, using the uh, using the drumsticks trick, what you do is you open. Uh, uh, what you do is um, is you do an opening and a closing for your particular band, say at the Battle of the Bands, which have hired you, right? You do uh, very. You, you do a couple. You do a magic trick for opener, then you do various closing tricks. And just at the ending, as they're finishing off their acts, like finishing off their last song, um, as the new band's coming up, you make. Uh, you do the armpit music trick as an interlude, finishing off your segment. And then what you do is that afterwards, uh, rather than doing the dum dum dum, -tsh, you do the armpit music band, pull the drumsticks out, and then offer them to the drummer of the next band. <laughs> it's a really bad way to insult the. It's a really bad way to insult your competition, and um, it's also a really good way to to lower their morale. I mean, come on! If they're dr you're basically saying that their drummer is so bad that the only thing that they can play the drums with is something that's been under your that's been in your armpit. <laughs> anyway, uh, I digress. Um, I uh, thanks for the thanks for the broom levitation secret because I'm certainly going to steal that from you. And I hope uh, you enjoyed the armpit music trick. You'd be surprised. I've actually done this before where uh, people uh, in part didn't figure out how I did it, but it was more for a comedy gag than for a magic trick itself. And it's still, um... here's a hint. Remember again, always uh, always as a, rule, as a golden rule, do a really tough workout and don't shower for two days before doing this trick. 
you have to make sure that there's a really, really good armpit stink before you do this trick. Otherwise, people will actually want to check in there. <laughs> Other pe otherwise, people will actually, you know, will actually take you up on it to check in there. And uh, of course, and of course, nobody, of course, is going to hide drumsticks in their shirt because that's going to fall out and it's going to be blat uh, blatantly obvious. If you know how to do it right, it won't. Again, remember, balanced right here, up towards the armpit, hold out of the armpits, and remember, the armpits must stink. It's the only way to deter your volunteer from actually checking inside. So anyway, um, uh, like I said, I just have I just hadn't had it happen to take a shower for a couple of days when I designed that trick, so that's why I realized it was so effective. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, yes, also, uh, there is another advantage to doing this armpit music trick if you're doing it as part of a street magic performance, particularly, as you said, like trying to do this broom levitation or covering a stool or something like that. If you do the armpit music trick before you do something like the broom levitation or something or the chair levitation or what have you, uh, if you're trying to deter the crowd from coming to examine the props, do the armpit music trick to pull out the drumsticks, but also do it as well where you'll um, where it actually the smell is so potent that not only it gets the volunteer, but the first two or three people in the front of the row, that will actually cause people to take a step back because you stink. They won't want to get close to be able. <laughs> they're gonna, you know, make them feel as if they they get any closer, they're gonna pass out from your bo, and um, chances are that <laughs> they won't want to get any closer to expect your props because they're afraid of your own stink. <laughs> Trust me, it's a perfect. <laughs> Using BO as a deterrent against against uh, nosy spectators is very effective. I don't know if I don't know of any other magician besides me who's actively actually tried to put incorporate that into their act. Um, actually, I don't even know of any who are vulgar enough to actually pull that off. Anyway, like I said, really great deterrent and a really great misdirect. Um, so yeah, toodles and thanks for the trick. I'm stealing that from you. And hey, guess what? I didn't have to pay ninety nine ninety five for it. <laughs>